Today I'm going to demonstrate a trauma mandible. This is going to be done on a patient who uh, is probably going to be laying on the table unable to, to stand for some reason. So I'm just going to demonstrate how we would do this tabletop. We're going to have the patient is going to be uh, lying supine. Uh, our film size is going to be 10 by 12 and it's going to be running lengthwise. And we're going to have a technique of about 25 uh, mass at 60 kV. Uh, so we're going to take and have the patient again. We'll be laying here. And then what we're going to actually do with the head, if you remember, we generally do a general survey for a mandible. So this is going to be on a patient who's not able to take and uh, stand up. So we're going to take and extend the head back as much as we can. And then we're going to tilt the head over. Okay? And then we're going to center up to the mandible. Now, of course, on a patient who is on a patient who is uh, has a neck injury, we're not going to be able to do this. Okay, I'm just going to try and get as much of the mandible in there as I can. I'm going to center up just a little bit higher. Okay, and then we're just getting the entire mandible on here. We're looking at the the left side here, so we're going to put our left marker on there. And then we would have to then do uh, the opposite side. We would be doing the right lateral. So we'd have to turn the tube over to the other side and then we'll take and do a right lateral. Now with this you can also do an AP mandible on the patient if they're not going to be able to lay on their stomach. So the routine views would be an AP and then both laterals. Uh, it's not considered a general survey. We're again just trying to take and do what we call a trauma mandible. We're just trying to demonstrate as much of the mandible as we can on a patient who is unable to sit up or to stand. And this is our trauma mandible views.